has led design philosophy and what is it um, and how, how is it evolving? Will it evolve? Will it change? Um, you know, the, 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 the short answer is our philosophy is about making great products, about making beautiful products, things that people want to own and buy. That's the, the real kind of underpinnings behind what we try to do. Um, we try to make beautiful products that that speak for themselves and attract people to them. Um, I think we've been fairly successful in our, you know, first rounds of products. Um, our philosophy at a design specific level is really about um, taking this idea of first principles um, from an engineering perspective and turning that into a design solution as well. What's the best way to accomplish something? Um, and what's the, the, the best way to interact with it? And the easiest way to interact with it? I, I feel that good design is almost invisible. Um, it's there, you're, you're attracted to it, it's easy to use, uh, and it's solving a problem. And it's solving it in a, in a, in a way that makes makes you feel comfortable and confident with that product and i believe you know our products do that now in terms of the visuals i think there's a there's a, a fairly familial or family resemblance to model s model x model 3 model y and that's you know somewhat intentional i think the the philosophy behind those cars is really about efficiency. Um, the car should look beautiful, but also be efficient. The thing that we can do as designers is create an aerodynamically efficient, beautiful shape that continues to enable better range of our products. So ultimately, we have to worry about less mass of batteries, less batteries in general, less cost, etc. So you know, we, we try to employ those ideas into the you know idea of, of a philosophy um, uh, about all of our Tesla products. Um, and, you know, it's really underpinned by efficiency. I think if you look at Model S, which was the first vehicle that we did, it's really similar to an athlete. Um, I think that's the best way maybe to describe it. And an athlete is a you know a very tuned individual. Um, and it, you know an athlete can be a, a, a human, but if you could also look at nature, you can see that there's no excess. There's no excess weight or mass visually, um, simply because they are tuned to perform at the highest level. And our vehicles are designed and tuned to perform at the absolute highest level. So. It's my impression um, that they should look that way as well. And out of that comes a, uh, a, a beautiful shape. That's maybe a long, long winded answer. And there's a lot in there, but there's no specific thing that says at Tesla, we have to make cars that look like this. Um, I think you can see that Cybertruck is an example of us making things that are unique um, and could arguably you could say that Cybertruck breaks the mold in terms of a philosophy of design. Um, but the short answer is we want to make beautiful products that are as efficient as possible, that are that um, um, basically solve a problem and make you feel good, great about it. Well, every car has its challenges. I think, you know, we want to be um, really solving problems. We want to make the experience better for everybody. Um, you know, Model 3 is a global car, and so we want to make a car that feels appropriate around the world, um, that's appropriate and feels right in both China, in the United States, in Europe, and everywhere else um, where we sell Teslas. And I think, you know, that the challenge is making sure that we have an attractive vehicle that, 
that does that and still answers the needs of the different localities. I think, you know, anytime we take on a project, we always challenge ourselves with what is the, the best way to solve the problem? Um, what is the best, what's the best way to make a beautiful experience? I think, you know, our cars are architecturally different than um, internal combustion engine vehicles. So we have a different set of challenges in dealing with the layout of the space where the batteries are. Um, we, we end up with a lot more usable space. We have a, all of our vehicles have a front trunk, which is additional lockable storage, which just adds to the flexibility of all the vehicles. Yeah, I think, you know, there's challenges with every project that we approach. Uh, and we systematically, you know, try to make the, the best overall product um, out of each of those challenges.